The clouds have opened up and the sun is shining. We've got a beautiful day here in Solaris City. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. A great day for the kickoff of the Solaris game. I'm joined by Lars Olofsson and the SBC crew. We're about to open this season of Ultimate Battle Mech Combat. This season starts with the Solaris Oversight Committee, dividing every known mech variant into seven divisions. Each division is based on a number of properties, ranging from loadouts and profiles to flat-out battlefield viability. Mech warriors have the ability to fight solo or to group with another mech warrior to fight in a 2v2 scenario. Mech warrior stats are tracked separately by solo and group matches. Matchmaking is done based on the highest mech warriors ranking in group matches, and special calculations are performed on the lower ranking mech warriors. No hand holding allowed here, folks. Battle mech combat is serious business. Along with the serious combat experience comes serious expenses. This is where patrons come into play. Patrons take on contracts with all mech warriors participating in the Solaris game. Different patrons provide different payment structures, which grow over the course of a season. Patrons aren't the only ones providing a source of income during the game. Mech Warriors also have the ability to gain sponsors throughout their seasonal run. Unlike contracted patrons, sponsors can be gained and lost, and their loyalty completely depends on a Mech Warrior's skill on the battlefield. One unusual aspect of a Solaris tuned battle mech is its outward appearance. Solaris is the home to mechs that have unique bolt-on cosmetic equipment. It's not unusual to see a giant set of horns or spikes on a Solaris mech. Patrons and generosity for manufacturers are the main means of gaining these bolt-on cosmetics. Who knows what will be in that crate that just landed in your mech pit. Every mech warrior has the choice to participate in whichever division they want to, as each division has its own leaderboard. The leaderboards are broken down into single and group combatants. At the end of a season, the leaderboards are reset. A Solaris game season lasts for three months. At the end of a season, the best performing mech warriors are rewarded, and all stats are backed up in the Solaris archive. There goes the side torso. Kapow! Ha <laughs> ha! He's barely operational. <laughs> he entered the arena that way. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is... All right, welcome everyone. My name is Phil, I'm the host of the No Guts, No Galaxy podcast, bringing you your Solaris 7 hype. Oh yes, all the hype. Like I say, welcome. We have over 500 people already in chat. If I could, if I could reach out to you and ask you for one thing to do right now, that is to retweet. Spread the word, the gospel. That is mech porn. But guys, it is Friday night and uh, we have a lot to show you. But we're actually going to be doing this three different days. Tonight. Well, Phil, Phil I'm going to get into that. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Yeah? Or do you, got, right do you got a monologue? Hello, Phil. Hello, everybody out there. Great to see you. Thank you for joining us for this exclusive Solaris 7 preview. It is amazing. Already over 500 people. I am Darren, a.k.a. Bombadil, with obviously Phil, a.k.a. Sean Lang. And we are joined tonight by Star Wolf, Nutty Rat, Chris Lowry from PGI, and of course... The one, the only George Duncan Fisher Ledoux, who will be, uh, you'll be hearing from him, well, throughout the night, both from here on TeamSpeak with us, as well as uh, in game. So be ready for that. Solaris 7 launches this coming Tuesday the 17th, along with the Solaris 7 Hero Mex and the Fafnir. So much stuff coming out on Tuesday, it's going to be crazy. So, as Phil was mentioning, over the next three days, we're going to be showcasing various aspects of Solaris 7, as well as participating in some 1v1 and 2v2 matches, just to kind of show you guys how it works and show how bad I am as a, a Solaris 
mech warrior, but uh, these guys are here to show you how good they are. Be sure to tune in Saturday and Sunday as well, like I said, starting at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. UTC. We're trying to make it so that we can get some of our uh, overseas friends watching us as well. Tomorrow we'll be joined by Haven Kendrick and Loken Plays. And then on Sunday, hopefully the plan is to have everybody back, Star Wolf, Nutty Rat, uh, Haven, Loken, George, everybody here for a big party uh, before we start on Tuesday. But Monday, as usual, we will be previewing the uh, new mechs, including the aforementioned Solaris 7 Heroes and the upcoming Fafnir Assault mech, which I am very much looking forward to checking out. Um, that will also be at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. UTC right here on NGNG TV. Now, now, Phil. What? I'm just saying. Let's get this saying. started the right way with, that's right, Duncan Fisher. Hello, everybody. My name is Duncan Fisher, and I'm coming to you from my favorite spot in the inner sphere. Welcome to Solaris 7. Let the games begin. Hell yeah. Great to have you here, George. Good to see you, uh, Phil, as always. Nutty, Star Wolf, Chris, how are you all doing? Everybody just talk at once. It's, time, it's party uh, do, time. I, I am doing great. Not excited. Great, great, great. <laughs> all right, don't well, all talk at once. Are all these guys going to be talking when I'm trying to talk? Only when you try and talk, everybody will talk at once. It is great to have you guys here. Thank you very much for being here. Um, all of you, it's, been, it's we've taken a lot of time to get set up and, and preview this fun stuff tonight. You can already see Phil is moving around in the mech lab. Those colors, Phil, what is that, like uh, some seaside mech that looks like ocean it's, blue or anything? It's like your old jumpsuit from the 90s. <laughs> I didn't show you any of those pictures. Just saying. Yeah, anyway, uh, Phil and I are going to be teaming up, doing some t 2v2s versus, uh, versus Star Wolf and Nutty. Um, I think Chris is going to sub for me every once in a while, so Chris can get in there as well. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Hi, everyone. How's it going? Um, we've all prepared some Solaris-specific mechs. Some of us have prepared more than others. Um, I'll just say that not all of my mechs are skilled specifically for Solaris, but that's okay. Um, I have a lack of skill in other, where, uh, other areas to make up for that. Um, George, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing great, guys. It's, yeah, it's been a long time. Well, not a long few months. enough in some cases, but <laughs> it's been good. Oh, I know that wasn't directed at me, or was it? And um, Star Wolf, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing wonderful. I've, I'm I'm looking so forward to this tonight. This is gonna be awesome. Excellent, excellent, and nutty. Finally, how are you, my friend? Oh, I am doing fantastic, sir. I'm so excited. Are you guys ready? I'm so ready. Yes, oh, I am. Oh, I yes. am just so mesmerized by this hunchback that we're seeing, and it's a beautiful teal color. Yeah, right? teal. It, it reminds me of my ex-wife for reasons I can't <laughs> go into right now. All right, we'll get to that later, right? So, as you guys can see, well, Phil, you're in the uh, you're in the regular MWO side of things, right? Well, yes, yes, I am. But so uh, there's a button I see up yeah. there in the right hand corner. Yeah, up here. What does it say? Solaris. Simple enough. It says Solaris. Why don't you click on that Solaris button? Well, I just wanted to, you know, point out to if, if at any point in time, this is how you access it. Uh, obviously, cop, faction, then Solaris. So let's go ahead and press the button. I love the rotating camp. Do you, do you guys understand how much easier it's going to be to apply decals or decals now that you have this rotating camp don't use decals no don't, don't you don't decals. start there no no more guessing if it's lined up correctly i mean you can totally uh yeah you can i wonder if you can put a decal on the underside of the crotch now i was gonna just say crotch. you know someone's <laughs> gonna be just like focused on walking underneath every oh, mech yeah. and just say hey let's see if they've got any junk up there well of course they've got junk up there mech nuts that's where the mech nuts exactly. are stored. there's plenty of them but anyway, yeah, it's going to make uh, applying decals much easier. It's it's awesome. I love it. And not only that, but uh, yeah, Phil, you're giving him a kind of a... I know. We're, we're no, no, no. It's good. Things. It's good. This is what we want to show. Of course, there is the first person cam as well. And once Phil does this a little bit, look at that. A decal on top of the AC-20. That's insane. That's for, I guess, when somebody ejects and they're flying up, they can see what's on top of your mech. Yeah, the first person camera is pretty awesome. Just to be able to spin around, uh, you know, I think we're 
Yeah. It's very yeah. nice. I think so we, you, we had that preview video too uh, that uh, just came out a few days ago that showcased Yeah, Matt the, did yeah. that. Yep, yep. So anyway, applying decals, much easier. And I just love the, 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 the spinning camera. So it's a lot easier to look at your mech from all angles. Uh, and and uh, including all of you that like the, the upskirts and so forth with your mechs. But now... Let's do some uh, let's do some Solaris, right? Should we try? Should we kick it off with a one v one, or should we kick it off with a two v two? Um, I think a one v one or a two v two. I think that's probes. What, what division are we going to be doing? Um, let's start off with a two v two. Okay. And so, why don't you go ahead and invite me, Star Wolf and Nutty? Go ahead and group up. All right, Nutty, go ahead and send the invite. Yeah, I'll get it. I'm going to do uh, Division 7. Let's, let's do Division 7, and we'll work our way up to Division 1. I think that's the way we'll do it. Also, by the way, guys, Patch Notes just went live as along with the Division uh, tiering, so you can see every mech and what tier it falls. I will say this. Things are going to be interesting, because some mechs that you think were X Division may not be where you think they are. And also, Russ said he's going to slay everybody with his Yenlo Wang in Division 7. Just saying. It was his words, it wasn't mine. He said slay. He didn't say slay. He said bring it, though. Chris, what can you say about the divisions? Because obviously, as we were discussing before, you know, there'll be people who think, oh, that, that shouldn't be a Division 7 or whatever. What is going, is the, the, the whole division categorizing, what can you say on that for me? Well, um, we reached out to a lot of uh, people who have, uh, you know, participated in the Masters Challenges and other 1v1 tournaments, uh, as well as uh, some uh, players in the comp scene uh, to pretty much uh, all collect uh, their feedback as far as uh, where they think uh, certain mechs should be seated, as well as what types of mechs uh, pretty much uh, should be uh, placed in each of the divisions, and we've de we've definitely taken that to heart uh, in the initial seating uh, of uh, um, all the mechs here. Um, but with that said, you know, this is all just to pretty much uh, get uh, an entry point for 1v1s. So at this point, uh, like once we get have it live in the public sands and everything, we'll definitely be monitoring uh, how everything is actually doing once we get it in the hands of the public. And uh, um, with Solaire seasons being three months long, um, if there's any changes that need to be happen to where the mechs are seated, we'll be sure to um, get them placed uh, into the into different divisions you know, as we see fit we've already Excellent. seen steiner so i'm voting that i'm yeah as you guys can see this is uh the the map ban we're going through the map ban uh, process uh, all five maps are ready and available uh, uh, and just that. to reiterate what chris was just saying the divisions oh. are, it's a work in process and it will be ongoing and they'll be constantly uh monitored and balanced as shiami caves this is oh, baby. probably the coolest looking. I I don't know. Am, am I it's, a, well, it's cool I, looking. The detail in it is awesome. Yeah. And I'd like to say this is the first time. I'd like to point out. I should say that anybody's this is the seen first this. time the Ishiyama has been in any video game. It hasn't even been in a game. Mech Four only had four of the Coliseums. It's so this is the Ishiyama first time. It's been in my nightmares for years. I don't want to see it at all. <laughs> all right. And speaking of Duncan Sensors Fisher, we're gonna hear online. some right now. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Greetings, mech fans. Right, I'm Duncan Fisher. Today's match is coming to you from mine and every mech jock's personal arena nightmare, the Ishiyama Caves. Here we go. Team-based combat. It's always great to see two mech warriors fight side by side. Then the arguing after the match is even better. This match literally has a 50-50 chance of going either way. Let's get started. All right. So there are things to note about this. First thing you'll notice, there are no consumables for those that don't know. So it does change, I would say, <clears throat> your builds and maybe even your strategies. Big time, man. Right? Are you kidding me? Because, yeah, you can't cool it flush. Yeah. Yeah. It's a whole new game as far as uh, builds go. Here we go. Did you see the fucking bats? They're crazy. <laughs> Come on, Bravo. Anytime, Darren. Anytime. I was on Alpha. Just 
got just a panther shooting me in the back. What? The shit. Oh. Oh, you lost your AC. Yeah. All right. And Darren's shutting down, apparently. I need to have my cooler flush. Yeah, that's going to be something that people are going to have to get used to. I'm so Bravo. Yep. As far as good as health right now. There you go. At 25 percent. New target acquired. Claustrophobia. Get moving, guys. Destroyed. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Flamer streaks. I didn't really flip this out. Oh, go for back shot. Go for back shot. Muck, muck, muck. Ooh, Got I'm it. lost. Nice. A clean 2-0 victory, folks. This is what you get when communication and Don't technical worry, awareness work together. Up, right? <laughs> that was a good uh, Duncan Fisher line. All right, so match concluded, and this is actually a new screen not a lot of people uh, have seen. You can see the mechs, the damage done, uh, components destroyed, health remaining, <laughs> and then, of, of course, vice versa, XP don't earned, forget C bills. To, and don't forget to click on the little info thing as well. Um, info. Yeah, the little eye in a circle. The little eye. It has C-bill breakdown. breakdown. Yeah, it's their drop-down menu, so you yep, can open yep. those up. Oh, well, that was quick. We'll look at it next time. Man, that's really weird hearing yourself talking when you're not talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the UI I'm looks pretty slick. You twice. Yeah, I, I will agree. Uh, the UI definitely looks pretty slick. Uh, it was one of the things I was mentioning earlier. Uh, George, were you feeling your lips to see if they were moving? Let's just say I had my hands on my stick and I was uh, making sure I was all here. <laughs> Whoa. All right. How about a rematch, guys? You want to try a um, Division 2 rematch? A Div 2 rematch? How about Div, okay. how about Div, Div 4? No. I want to work our way up. I know, but um, then you're going from like we'll 7 go. to 2. Okay. Okay. Do you, you want to do that? We'll, or we'll, we, can we'll do, to, we can do 6. No, we'll do Div 4 and uh, we'll meet right in the middle. And then next match, we'll, we'll sub Chris in uh, for me. So let's do Div 4 right are we gonna, now. Are we going to coordinate? Or just, no? Well, do we want to move um, Star Wolf and Nutty into another channel and we can really nah. coordinate? No. Nah. Okay. I mean, right. the whole point of this is uh, party time, right? Chaos. Exactly. All right. So one of the things um, I want to point out really quick is when you guys point. get this uh, Tuesday, uh, you have um, seven mech slots down here. Each one represents a division, as you can see. Um, division uh, one, two, three, all the way to seven. Um, these will initially have the uh, champions, the trial uh, mechs in them, so you will have to select your own mechs. But down at the bottom where we have this mech select button, there will be a select uh, patron button first. So you first have to select a patron. Um, I chose Earthworks, um, and there's a few others, and so that's what I did. And then you can uh, have a select mech button. And of course, you can sort, um, and then of course you can sort by um, assault, medium, heavy, so forth and so on. But this is your one slot. So when you click select mech, this is division one. You don't have to worry about like trying to find it or whatever. That being said, in mech lab, you can sort, but this one is your div one slot. So div four, we say select mech. You can see all of the mag, uh, mechs in Div 4, um, and you can go from there. So, quite a few. Yeah, also, Russ is in chat, and he is pointing out something that's important, is that there are brand new champion mechs, uh, I'm sorry, trial mechs for Solaris. They're for Solaris only, and those are recently built by the uh, by some comp players and so forth. So they're, they're new trials. Check them out. Also, um, as far as selecting a patron, um, you can select a different patron for every single yep. division. So um, it's you know it doesn't have to be the same patron for all. And also, Chris, what did you say? Every three days you can switch. Uh, thirty. Thirty days. I'm sorry. There was a three in there. So uh, every thirty days you can switch your patrons. Each patron has a different benefit: C bill boost, experience boost, etc. So. Yeah, Phil, you can probably show the timer. So, because we do display the timer of how long the contract or how much lift is on your contract. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the uh, awesomeness that is happening <laughs> right now. 
Sorry, that's a dragon, Phil. That's not an awesome. We've talked I mean, about this before. Is it weird to stare at your own barrel? Um, depends on where the barrel is located. Okay. What hard point it's on. NGNG after dark. All right, guys. All right, sorry. Um, okay, so yeah, you've got the bar right here. Uh, you're currently rank one through rank two. Uh, and of course you can see XP here. We've got uh, 29 days, 19 hours, 53 minutes left on this said contract. So. Go. Guys ready? Ooh, I see what you're doing. I am. Nice. We are ready. Just we'll waiting, see. Wait on Darren. In theory, I, I thought I readied up. Mm -mm. Mm. All right, here we go. Ready up, old man. All right, so you can see our countdown. We got uh, 50 seconds or so until we go. And you know what? I'm going to do a giveaway, guys. It's giveaway time. Ooh. So you can see they just readied up. Now they're in queue. Uh, and competitors means groups. So in this case, because you're obviously grouped, if you're in the solo, obviously it would be solo individuals. All right, guys, enter hashtag Solaris 7 in chat right now for your chance to win a Solaris 7 Hero Mech Pack. You can check those out uh, on MWOMercs.com at the store. It's seven brand new Hero Mechs for Solaris. So there you go, hashtag Solaris 7. Good luck, Mech Warriors. And good luck to me in this next match. Yeah? Yeah, I'm the one that needs luck out of us. You, well, I'll take that I think I need luck on that one. I know, and, and, and you, Star Wolf and Nutty Rat, you need luck. Because yeah, Phil's in the house. Oh, we're we're just warming up. <laughs> we're just warming up here. That's not based on me. I'm just saying. I very intentionally uh, teamed I like up with Phil. Ran right into freaking oh, just, Chris. All right, just, let's do a just different wait, map. Wait, wait until the later uh, divisions. There we go. Ishiyama's gone. I love the map, man. Yeah, this it's is fun. slick, Russ. We gotta tell the team. He's joining us, by the way. Oh, Russ will be on Team Ooh, Speak shortly. Jungle? Yeah, we're going jungle. Good. It's this another thing I want to point out that we quick, quickly realized is how quickly this is happening, right? You drop in twos, you could literally can come in the mech lab now. Um, I do believe there is going to be an adjustment for wait time later on, as far as when you're coming out of the match. We're all used to it, we suffer from it already on the regular client. You guys, with a lot of mechs, right? When we have four, five hundred, six hundred mechs, um, Russ did mention that they are looking to uh, close that gap as far as time. Sensors so. online. Weapons online. All right, let's hear the Duncan Fisher lines. All systems normal. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the jungle. I'm Duncan Fisher, bringing you all the fun and games from downtown Cathay. Here we go. Team-based combat. It's always great to see two mech warriors fight side by side. Then the arguing after the match is even better. <laughs> this uh, is going to be a highly competitive fight. Flame you. Their stats are so close right? to each That's other. Right, that's a great line. As well be George, the same I love person. you. This oh. is going to be good. Darren, I do my best. Darren, you take that dude's arm off. Great. Yep, yep. Alpha, alpha primary. Go for Bravo. Back up, back up. Hey, buddy. You shut down. Oh, I forgot my weapon groups. I did the same. Target destroyed. New target Take acquired. off his right arm. Good kill. Oh, look at the shield. Yep. When you miss. The arena shield. Yep. That's crazy. Yep. There goes an arm. All right, so now that we can play with our food, watch this. Yeah, the shields. Let's play with it. Yeah, yeah. Should we leg him? Sure. I think we should leg him. I'm going for the cockpit. Oh, whoa. Whoa, sir. <laughs> we need the what shields. Are... Otherwise, all that landscape has to be replaced every time. That's pretty damn expensive. I'll go for a center, Star Wolf. Oh, that's the spectators slow mad, down. but it's a landscape that's important. There we go. All about the money. We aren't going down without a fight. Star Wolf, you're using my freaking warhorn, man. Yeah. 
When you can't turn fast enough. Hey, buddy. This won't we hurt. Hugging? This won't hurt. Like that. There's only one Come mech out. left standing. Damage from both teams was pretty tight. Let's look at friendly damage numbers. Ho ho ho. Someone owes me a beer afterwards. Nice. We were still oh, warming wow. up. A rematch for the rematch? Chris, are you ready to go? Look at the damage. Oh yeah, click uh sure. Phil, click on the eye, the info, just so you can show that real quick. Yeah, I got focus down. What division are you guys in? It's whatever division you guys. Yeah, pick. what do we want to do? We'll, we'll, you know, what? we're gonna save division seven for the end, or I'm sorry, division one for the end. So. So this is a good question. Uh, someone just had, which is, how many can spectate at one time? I believe the number is thirty-two, but uh, we'll have to get Russ on here to confirm that. And he's here. So one second. Mr. Russ, how you doing, sir? Yeah, I, is he at home? Or he's configuring his headset yeah. at home, yes. <laughs> is he at home? Is that what he's doing? If, yeah, as soon as he's ready, I'm sure he'll say hi. And we can ask him that question, how many spectators? Um, so Chris, let's see, Phil, kick me out of the group, or I'll leave group and then invite Chris, and we'll get uh, the next match going. So the loading I was talking about is what I'm, we're looking at right now. We're all used to it, right? Especially, I think I have 600 variants now. Russ did say that they are looking at that, and... Uh, Obviously, stay tuned uh, on that. Hey guys. It, it will be optimized. Hey. Hey, Russ. Yeah, I mean, I can talk about that real quickly. Um, we, we were just talking about it the other day that uh, with the with the boltons coming now, um, there's going to be, we figure upwards of 8,000 boltons by the time, you know, it's going to take us a while to get through all the retrofitting and, you know, a good number of months to get like every mech decked out. But when we do, that's a lot. And so that, that little time is going to increase to the point where it's really um, unbearable. So we have some ideas. I think, uh, loosely speaking, um, what we'll do is we'll have some sort of, a, you know, difference checker type load system that uh, should only um, have to load everything like that on, on rare occasions, just after patches or something. And then, you know, it would just load the difference. So, you know, it's an intelligent system we probably should have had a long time ago. But, you know, these things are we prioritize you know, what the most needing things are. And, and now this is definitely coming to the forefront. So I think we'll work on that pretty quickly. I'd like to say we, you know, get that in the next, you know, patch or two for sure. Cool. Awesome. Some Somebody in chat was wondering how many spectators uh, can be in a match. I, I thought the number was 32 or something like that. What is it? Yeah, I think we're starting with 32, but we think we can be higher. We just, we're going to test it and run with it. Cool. Um, I should actually say how that's going to work. Um, do you want to bring up the, uh, do you want to show them where the watch list is? Do you see that there? Phil? Oh, sorry. One sec. Let me just alt tab or, uh, move. Second. Yeah, right there. The watch list on the right hand side. See the scroll bar on that window? Yep. Uh, all the way over to the right there, Phil. Yep. Watch Solaris list. overview. Yep. And scroll bar that now. I guess the Twitch stream is a little bit lagged. So There's a little bit of sure delay, here. yeah. So, at any rate, you see there it's half a dozen or five matches that'll be listed. So out the gate, that's going to list um, matches that are above 2,500 ELO. So what it determines to be really quality matches with um, highly skilled players. So it does mean that in the first few days of Solaris, that list probably won't be populated. Um, in hindsight, I think we should have done the logic a little differently. We'll probably roll out the gate with it and see how it goes. Shouldn't take but more than a few days. Some of you, you know, monsters out there will, you know, get up to the 2,500, I think, pretty quick. And then we'll start seeing some matches there. You'll click there and you'll spectate. And yeah, we're just going to kind of watch the bandwidth and see. And we'll kind of, you know, pump it up as many spectators as we can. So what he's talking about, guys, right here, if you scroll down, right, right now we can see leaderboards by solo and group. Underneath we have uh, patron progress as well. And then we have the watch list and there's slots right here. After a certain ELO is met, he said 2,500, that you'll be able to click on these and then spectate. So this will be uh, propagated once those people have hit that. So right here, um, so just expect that to happen. So I think we're doing tier uh, div six, right? Uh, that's correct. Awesome, let me uh, ready up. 
It's showing div four on my screen. No. We're doing uh, six. Oh, okay. Is that what you're in? Yeah, I'm in a div six. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Russ, I, I mentioned this earlier. I don't know if you were here. Uh, the UI, I think a lot of people are digging it. Looks good, clean, crisp to the point. The details after the match look fantastic. Um, so make sure to uh, buy everybody a beer in the office next time. It's, it looks looks slick. Phil, are you planning on visiting the office on that day? I feel like that was like buy me a beer. Well, I mean, that's a given. Retweet, please, Mech Warriors. Let's get some more Mech Warriors to the chat. This and band also, system is freaking awesome. It is. Hashtag Solaris 7 right now, guys, for your chance to win a Solaris 7 Hero Mech Pack coming out Tuesday. We'll be doing a preview stream of those mechs on Monday at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. UTC. See you then. Now let's watch this awesome match. Got the factory. Nice. My favorite map out of all of these so far. Yeah, it's a cool. It, it's going to be interesting. Last time I saw it was when we were up in Vancouver and um, John. The verticality. Yeah, John wasn't quite done with the lighting, so I want to see what he uh, did with it. It's it's I just, different. I just hope you've had your tetanus shot. <laughs> it's different than the other ones, too, because it's more narrow, right? But there's verticality to it. Reactor online. Sensors online. It's a dirty Sensors factory, George. Online. Dirty, dirty factory. And they're just going to make it Hello, messier everybody. now. This is Duncan Fisher. I love Today it. Today we are coming to you from the, the factory in beautiful right. downtown Montenegro. <laughs> well, I'm watching the stream. Four at mechs the enter. One mech leaves. Right. As am I. Two mechs leave. I feel weird. like I'm going to have to carry. I don't hey, know Lars, why, Chris. I don't know why. On this one. It's the feel that I'm getting here. This match is not going to be easy to call at the start. Performance for both of these mech warriors are near identical. So what right, subjects were off limit tonight? I forget. Say again. Um, we're not talking about faction warfare tonight. <laughs> I thought we're saving some aspects of Slurs, right? I just, I was wondering what I was, you know, you guys are streaming tomorrow. Tomorrow. I know we got to keep that hype train rolling, but. Yep, yep. Tomorrow we're looking. Sure I wasn't, um, it's four you know, yep, didn't yep, start yep. talking Attack. about a whole bunch of stuff. Tomorrow we're looking deeper into the careers. Folks, right towards and, and Hey, gentlemen, patrons. we are mech porn deep right now. Seismic. Yep, yep, right in front of me. Hey, those peeps, close range, close range. Watch behind. I'm switching. I'm pressuring him. Yep, yep. Well, they sure as hell cleaned up the factory since the last time I saw We have a Wait, post, fact, or post Duncan Fisher cleanup in factory, please. Uh, <laughs> the mess you left well. last time. Ouch! I'm gone. Not gonna end well for who? I don't know. Him, me, oh, probably me. Destroyed. Yep. Left arm destroyed. What would be spectacular? How you doing, Chris? If, is all the pieces that you blow off the mech they stay yeah, on okay. the floor of the, of the factory? That would be great. I need Chris yeah. to carry you. Turn off like... your silly vision modes, you comp noob. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Star Wolf, it's all on you, man. Look at the maps instead of you trying Isn't to that win. a pretty grayscale picture? George, I'm just picturing like 30 you feet deep of mech park. Like destroy. Oh, exactly. oh, Chris, you got this. There nice. goes oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> wow. The bottom map for that mech is all kinds of messed I, up. I did mess them up quite a bit, though. I messed myself up quite a bit. Did you overheat? Oh, big time, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Factory's supposed to mess with your sensors and everything else because of all the metal and right. pieces and all that. So, the more trash, the better. That's Phil's excuse, anyway. That's oh, it. There's no. only one mech left. I tell you, that's a lot of sea bills spread around the Look arena at the pieces flying. Chunks and bits. I like that. I killed Sean Lang, I'm happy. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I got like, you dropped behind me. I was like, ah, oh, shit. All right. Let me see what this uh, is. So, Russ, tomorrow we're looking at careers. Um, Sunday, we're looking at um, things like the supply caches, bolt-ons, etc. Technically, I, I carried Saracen. 
Because I got focused. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, I ran off into pretty hey, much... Hey, no, it uh, worked. It worked. Hey, have you guys taken a good look at the um, player cards yet? I think that would no. be interesting to people. We're trying yeah. to get a few matches in, then then we'll check those. Let's do one... Let's do one one v one. So Phil, you want to pick a, an opponent? Ooh. Opponent? Or how about we all just we pick we a tier? View. Yeah, and all enter. Or, yeah, we pick happens. a div, right? We'll do. Right. Let's right. do right. div just for its fun. Div five, and okay. then on my go, we'll all launch, and whoever we get, we get. Is that Ooh, fair? Okay. So I'm gonna yeah, that sounds her. good. Ooh. Is everybody ready? No, no, no. 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 Oh, still dude, out. dude, dude. You ready dude. now? No. Are you ready no. now? I will kick no. you. <laughs> Right. Oh, After this match, wow. guys, we'll do the uh, we'll do the first giveaway. After this match, hashtag Our, Solaris. I also seven. need to bring up something because uh, I think this will be affecting a lot of people on Tuesday. You might notice there's an invalid mech here. Um, obviously, that's because I have uh, no nothing on it. Right. If you have consumables that aren't allowed and they're equipped to your mech, it might say invalid, but you're still going to be able to drop. Uh, just letting you know those consumables won't be available to you when you're in game. So just to let you know. Can't rely on that cool shot, which I learned the hard way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it though. I mean, to be fair. Oh, so do I, man. So do I. Right. It's, it's, yeah. And again, it's not, it's not the same as solo queue. It's not the same as group queue. It's not the same as faction warfare. This is a totally different play style. And if you're bringing mechs in that aren't specifically tailored for it, you may not see the All success. Right. Uh, Chris, you ready? That did five, right? Yeah. Darren, did you ready? Five. So right. Darren, ready? Yep. ready? Ready. Ready. Russ, uh, Kennedy, ready? Three, two, one, launch. Oh. oh. Here we go with that sink dropping again. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Cheaters. Oh, coffee and mech porn. Mm. Quite a good night indeed. For those for, for those of us who never use cool shots, right? Yeah. I mean, I didn't start using them probably within the last, I would say, year and a half, two years. Right? So some people rely on them. A lot of builds rely on them. So we should Jimmy, see. you'll be a little bit ahead of the game, man, if you're used to not having them. Bearclaw, are you chomping out the bit, bro? He's like, hmm. Yeah, be ready. You know, the, the first week of uh, Solaris, you want to have, you want to be ready for your opponent to shut down. Go for those headshots. Or butt shots. Oh, oh I didn't get a match. Dun, dun, what? Dun, dun. Rigged. Phil was the odd man out. Hold on. What? All right, well, I'll wait. Russ, are you, are you in game? Just, uh, no, I'm still patching up here at home. I uh, had to, yeah, never mind. He had to leave the office early. Home still. All right. So maybe tomorrow. So while um, we wait, I'll show off the player cards. So well, why don't you just get in queue with somebody? There's, somebody there's no one else. You guys match, dropped. Right? No, you guys. He dropped. was the odd man out. I was the odd man. Oh, All right. Well, so really you guys well. just die quietly while I talk and showcase things. Shh. All right. So up top, we've got uh, Mech Lab. Um, I just want to point out, this is a little bit different um, than the one currently in MWO as far as the main client. You don't have consumables, like I said. I do believe uh, that will be adjusted later on, so if you do have an no, invalid... That's, that's going to be adjusted before okay. Tuesday. Oh, okay, yeah, there that, you go. It's, it's, never mind, I won't get into it now, but a few, a few last minute fixes and changes coming in before patch day. There you go. So consumables will be here. That'll allow you to remove them. Also, too, is you may want to might want to remove those skill points from consumables because you're not able to use them Just tossing that out there um, another thing to notice uh, that's slightly different but also quite nice is select mech um, you can sort by division so let's just say div 5 you can then sort even further down if you want um, and of course you do fully you can customize your mech from here and so like just like Russ said the consumable slot will be added and that's for you to remove them Again, you can't use consumables during Solaris, um, so you may not want those skills invested as well. So that's uh, keep in mind. Another thing I'm going to point out really quickly, and this is something for you to think about, is you may not need as much ammo as you did previously in a build. Something like an AC-20 with 30 plus rounds, you may not need that in a 1v1. Just saying, mech bro. Might help you out. Spiders? 
There's spiders in Ishiyama? Jeez, man. Yep. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and head back to the home screen. Um, so Russ talked about the player cards, and this is actually really cool. So we're gonna click leaderboards really quick. And uh, so we have solo and group here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out Chris. All we're gonna do is click on his name. It's going to, oh my God, Chris. Your Atlas, bro. Oh my gosh. All right, so there's some uh, bolt-ons. Um, and here is a screen of basically Chris's uh, stats. And you can switch here in all of his stats. You can go to his Division 1. You can go to Division 2. Um, obviously, we don't have any stats on those. Um, you can check out his build on this Atlas. So for all of you guys wanting all of Proton's builds, you will be able to check out Proton, nice. Barry Claw, all the top players' builds, and they're not going to be able to hide them from you. Um, also, too, is Kill Death, Win Loss, uh, SSR, uh, Solaris, um, I'm assuming, um, ranking, which is your ELO ranking, right? It goes up and down uh, based on if you win or lose and who you're going up against. So there. My is ranking that. just went down. Yeah. Did it go Damn down or nutty. did it just, you know? Oh, I don't Irby know. Irby power, best power. Yeah, I was just murdered by an Irby. I'm, I am I don't know what to say for myself. All right. Murdered so. by an Irby. Murby. Murby? Murby. The Murby. And this is, uh, I'm, I'm looking at uh, Chris's Irby. Some more bolt-ons. Never seen before, by the way. We won't be going over these, I think, till tomorrow, but... Sunday. That is, is, he, is he compensating, do you think? Th that's adorable, <laughs> uh, Chris. I think so, George. It's so cute. It really is. And wait till you see it fly. All right. Why, is there going to be a stiff wind? <laughs> um, and it of course, that last match. you can do this for every single person. You can check out their, um, I do believe, uh, Russ, it shows the latest mech they were in in that division. Is that correct? That they played a match in? Um, I think it's the, yeah, that's a good question. I, I want to say the mech that they most, I can't remember this most recently, They're most, most successful, commonly used uh, for each division. So sorry, I'm not quite sure. Oh my goodness. Um, Canadian S, I think I uh, missed it, but our bolt-ons allowed in quick play. Yes, once the bolt-on system comes out, um, you, when you have them, you can use them in quick play as well. That's quite the mech there, uh, Nutty Rat. That <laughs> right? is. Like, th that is the most badass looking uh, Irby I've ever seen. I wonder if uh, we're going to see any different colors from Darren. Nah. Is that is that a t-shirt launcher attached to that, uh, Nutty? <laughs> 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 hey, uh, I'll stay out of the queue. You guys queue up again for a one v one. Just right. pick a pick a. We're doing five again. Division is that cool? All right, We're division five. 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 All right, when you guys are ready, let me know. Yeah, I'll bring this guy out. Yeah, I'm ready whenever you guys are. I'm All gonna right. switch mechs real quick. Nutty, you ready? I'm ready. All right, Chris, three, two, one. All right, after this match, guys, we'll do the giveaway. Just one more match, Mom. One more match. Ooh, I've got Ooh, Star Chris. Wolf. Oh, man. I got I Star I Wolf. Next. We haven't seen Boreal, right? Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. So let's get that. For the people. For the whore. Oh, for Solera 7, oh, so you guys cool going to keep Boreal as a, as a uh, cold map? All I know is I'm in trouble. Oh, yeah. You, nutty, what? Boreal yeah, I'm in is trouble. definitely snowbound. Boreal Reach is where Duncan Fisher played his very last match, you know. Ooh, a little Duncan Fisher trivia. I did not know that, actually. I'm surprised I didn't know that. You, Yahoo, you're funny. Yeah, the, the UI is crisp. It's clean. It's very nice. Um, yeah, well, I don't know what Mechie's in, and I'm not really set up for Pete, like uh, 1v1s, but we'll see how this goes. Hello, everybody. This is Duncan Fisher. Today, we are coming to you from the Damn, I knew you were going to bring that one again. Boreal Reach. 
Hey, folks, there's one thing about the Solaris Arenas that stands out from the rest of the world. The smell. Let's get shooting. This match literally has a 50-50 chance of going either way. Let's get started. Yeah, crabby, crabby, crabby. Override engaged. Yeah, crabby, crabby, crabby. Phil's on a crab hunt. Oh, here be. Well, I gotta say, as, as bad as I am, I'm I'm one uh, spot above Paul on the leaderboard, so I'm okay. There's a flaw in your thinking, young one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, arm lost. Oh, oh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Say hello to my little friends. That's not good. Maybe next time that mech could be equipped with more armor. Like, no weapons, just more armor. Hey, Duncan Fisher got it right right there, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't by you love it when he says something appropriate? Yeah, by the way, guys, oh, most of us uh, are running non, like, 1v1 builds. We just didn't. There's so many mechs, uh, yeah. and we just found out. So um, yeah, don't don't be too harsh on uh, on us. So um, on the Duncan line, Duncan, great job. Thanks for uh, working with us on those. Oh, absolutely, my pleasure. I think just to let everyone know as often as they are. Yes, I've seen a few people ask if there's just like everything. There's an options in the options screen. You can. Uh, turn off the commentating what thank and, god uh, i think hopefully uh you know if uh if duncan's up for it uh george here then we'll uh i'd like to you know keep recording more so that we could get you know like more and more variety uh up to a point therefore you know just so it's not the a lot of the lines are gonna are you know you're gonna hear pretty frequently because i just don't think we have a lot of you know enough variety yet so i'd like we'd like to keep working on that i think george are you willing Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. It took me three weeks to record everything for uh, mercenaries. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that was well, it going in every day. <laughs> well, I can't get enough, George. So I will look forward to more lines as well. Let's get another two uh, two man. Two are you gonna, two going. Are you gonna do the giveaway? You said you were. Oh yeah, thank you. Right. Yeah, so yeah, Nutty, go in invite. For this, yep. so I'll do the giveaway. Uh, Nutty, Star Wolf, you team up. Chris, Phil, you team up. Do another two man and I will do the giveaway right now, guys. This is for a Solaris 7 Hero Pack coming out Tuesday morning with all, all right. kinds of content. So I've chose the divisions thus far. Nutty, the ball is in your court. What division? Sir? Ball's in my court, huh? Yes, sir. Grab the balls, Nutty. <laughs> well then. Oh, Duncan. You know what? Um, I will kind of want to. You know? What do you want Some to do? Time today, can we do Div 3? Can we do a Div you 3? You can do whatever you want, sir. Let's, let's, let's do a Div 3. Just no Div 1 till the end. I want, no, I want to no, save the big boys for the end. I really am so glad that they're putting in the option to, to turn off the commentation. Because it, it can get really obnoxious no. after a while. It's no great. way. It's awesome. It's not. I'm going to awesome. be upset awesome if I today. learn that people turn it off. <laughs> no. Nope. People getting tired of Duncan Fisher? Say it ain't so. Well, I'm, glad, I'm so. glad you like what you've heard so far. If Absolutely, people, man. If people I are getting, getting of old of Duncan, if people th people are getting bored. Of Duncan Fisher, they're wrong. Wrong. Just they're just wrong. wrong. All right. Well, aren't you sweet? Your check's in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> um. I was going to say, Nutty, do you want to, uh, either during or like right before, just explain the matchup earlier that we had with Div Three? The the separation. <laughs> Separation. The differences between my weight class versus yours. Oh, oh, you, oh! You mean what? What we when, when we were when we were getting preparing for this? Yes. So, the differences so, between winning and losing, Nutty. Yes, yes. Well, oh, here's, yeah. here's the thing: is uh, is that uh, so? So the two mechs that uh, Star Wolf and I are dropping in. I'm dropping in the Bushwhacker P2. He's dropping in a King Crab. They're both in the same in, in the same weight class. The Kaiju. I beat him. Nice. With a headshot. <laughs> Kapow for oh, real. We didn't find a match. 
Oh, hold on. We haven't we haven't launched yet. Oh, okay. All right. I'm waiting on We're Phil over now. here. Sorry, I was. There's too much. There's too many. All right. Vondraum, whisper me back with your oh. pilot name, and I will get you sorted. Congratulations on winning your Solaris Seven Hero Pack, sir. Congrats, sir. So I have a quick question. Um, Oops. This is from George. When you when you actually play Solaris Seven, does every match you play automatically go into your stats, yep. or is there a way to just go in there and nope. mess around? It's all tracked. Every shot you take. Interesting. Every kill well, you make. You're doing uh, now. private matches if you don't want to be. Stat. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, so, are these considered private matches? Because otherwise, Phil's getting himself a hell of an advantage. Uh, no. This is this is nope. live. Wait, this won't uh, be the same all stuff. On the as... stage build. So no, this is like come Tuesday. This is all wiped clean. You know. Yeah. So no, yeah. this is like gonna give him a head start or nothing. Uh, Sorry, Va Phil. Von Drum, whisper me your pilot name anyway. I'm gonna give you a thousand MC for messing that up. Von Heinrich. Von Heinrich, whisper me back, please. Congratulations. What did you do? I always mess up, man. How do you mess that up? Because there was two Vons in the chat, and, you know. Now you're familiar with the Vons. Don't make it right. He's getting That's old, man. That's going to come on your paycheck. <laughs> it is. It is. Right in front of Rust. Damn so, it. hey, guys, a lot of um, questions. I know you guys already talked about this, but I guess it's worth repeating. A lot of people in chat asking, oh, what's up with, you know, this uh, Shadow Cat in the same division as this heavier mech, and... You know, can any of the mechs in the divisions uh, fight each other? Yes. So I'm going to quickly, before this match, well, at least as far as the stream shows, the match starting. Basically, every mech in the entire game is playable in Solaris, and every mech in the entire game has been divided into the seven divisions. Hello, everybody. And the way we this is did Duncan that, Fisher. some of the Today people, we are coming and, to you, from you know, the, the people in the know, with as no, much like input as say. possible from no people that T. play the game and know the Guess game right. well. There's no P in Me and Max the living shit out of those mechs as much as we possibly could well, this match to try to figure out what division they could be in and their max, for both you know, of these sort of efficiency are near mode. Identical. And uh, then they were categorized. So yes, if you pick Division 7, any of those mechs in there can fight each other. Division 1, any of those mechs in Division 1 fight against each other, which means you basically have a zero weight game mode here. There's a 60 second right. clock. And as long as you hit the launch button and when that clock hits zero, it's going to match up every single person in that queue. Only maybe this one guy who's the odd man out, but he'll be prioritized for next time. So 99% of people will get a match like instantly when the clock hits zero. And there's no other thinking about, oh, this is a light mech, this is a medium mech. No, it's like, are they, every mech is in the same division in that queue. So we just, we just find the biggest, the best match via ELO possible, and match them. Alpha. Auto. Yeah, I just got. Well, I gotta say, you picked the perfect uh, color scheme for your mech for this uh, map. Alpha's looking at me. You can push him. Is he camouflage, George? I can't tell you. <laughs> I'm dropping on Alpha. Yep. Alpha's up. CT. Go, uh, Bravo. Glory, glory, AC20. That is how teamwork proves itself as the superior strategy. That, and I'm pretty sure one of the winners is totally carrying the other one. All glory to the AC-20. That's like unnerving because oh. you turn your back on one. Like I was expecting to get shot in the back. Yeah, this is... The, ru the roughneck was standing in, in the way of your back. Oh, did it? <laughs> okay, that worked then. Uh, Russ, is there any sort of prioritization to the spectating, i.e. clan mates or anything like that? Or is it just totally random? How does that work? Sorry, I was just typing something in channel. What, what was mm -hmm. that? Um, is there any prior to, prioritization to the spectator mode? Like, does it bring in, you know, unit mates first or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Or is it all just, yeah, it's all random? Yeah, just uh, first come, first serve, fill it cool. up. So all right, guys. We might, be able to, we might be able to expand that to, you know, 40, 50, 60 in a, in a match spectating. Nice. So right now, our biggest concern is that the matches are really short. 
Um, they can be as little as just a couple minutes, as you know. So once the match is created, it'll show up in the watch list. So someone has to grab that and load in. So, you know, they're going to pop up and disappear off that list pretty quickly. So there will be situations where people are, you know, going to spectate and they see like the last 10 seconds or something. So we're, we're thinking about that, trying to figure out maybe if there's a better way to do it, but you know, we just kind of got to get it live and, you know, test it out in the wild with, you know, people spectating and then we'll, we'll see how it's going. Of course. All right, guys. Question, but will you be able to spectate just like uh, you do at, like at MechCon where you can see the whole map and see all the mechs? Yeah, it's, it's the, you know, as far as I know, I think it's the full legit spectate mode. There's nothing different about it. Cool. All right, we're doing Div 2, Chris. Hashtag Duncan Fisher lives in chat right now, guys, for your chance to win another and the final Solaris 7 Hero mech pack coming out Tuesday morning. They're available at mwomercs.com at the store. But this is your chance to win one for free. We'll do the uh, final giveaway before we uh, close up shop tonight. Almost 750 people are in chat. Thank you all for being here. Totally appreciate it. Hope you had a wonderful week. Happy weekend, everybody. Not only is this the weekend, but this is a weekend full of Solaris. We will be back again tomorrow. That's Saturday at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. UTC, and same time, same place on Sunday. Uh, we'll have Haven Kendrick and Loken Place tomorrow, and then hopefully everybody returning on Sunday. And George will be with us all three days as well. I can't believe I have to stay nearly sober the entire weekend. This is torture. <laughs> That's going to be tough. <laughs> Oh, just a manageable level of intoxication is all that's needed. He did say he did <laughs> say nearly Canadian. sober. Oh, um, sorry, Steiner, you've been around for a while, so we've had enough of you, Steiner. Oh, that's funny. Look at my chat <laughs> with the, the message in chat. <laughs> oh, I do have to say I am impressed with the cave map, the Ishiyama Caves. It that, makes that, you... that's. The details in that are great. It is cool. Even though you hate it so much. Well, but Duncan the, hates it, but George yeah. is thinking, wow, this is cool looking. <laughs> I saw I saw the bats the first time around, but I did not see the spiders on until the, ground? the second time. Yeah. yeah and that, the spiders you know, like the size of like dogs. Spiders. Why dude. did it have to be spiders? I know, for dude. For God's sake, don't it's... hit the eject button. <laughs> no. Right? It's not, just for you, Derek. That cave. That's an upside down headshot. Yeah, it is. Reactor online. Yeah, that's a that's a eject you lose Weapons type of match. Yeah, exactly, automatic loss. <laughs> All systems nominal. Hmm. Oh my god, Unless... Chris. Oh my Hello, god. Hello, McFans. This is Unless you lay prone and then eject yourself as a projectile right at the enemy mech. This could be one of the most exciting matches in history. It's putting an awful lot of thought into it. Also, be a four-person gong show. Too much thought. Let's find out. This is going to be a highly say, competitive fight. Their stats are impressive. so close to each other. It may You've as well be the same person. Skyrim too much? This is going to be good. Bro. Like, look at that mech. Let's do a thing. It's pretty awesome. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you do this. Look at that thing. Jeez. Target acquired. Chris, what have you done? It's Why brutal. Feel, why does it feel like I brought a knife to a gunfight? Um, like a knife to a cannon fight. Because my one leg has more armor than you. <laughs> Chris is actually a cosplayer at heart. Just watch <laughs> it. Left side. After this match, I'm going to give a little clarity on the bolt hunts. I know that's tomorrow, but just a little question, okay. some clarity. No problem. New target acquired. I notice he's all. He's focused. The he's focused. Ooh, arm lost. There's all the bugs in the jungle. It's perfect. Can you get Don't this off me? I know, isn't I'm it? Oh. Those foot foot long mosquitoes are pretty intense. Target destroyed. He's down. He's down. New target acquired. You have your chance. Do it. Go. There he goes. Heat level critical. And Good that's night, sweet prince. The shield. Darren. Wow. We don't want to kill like all that the winner's wild. plan something ahead exactly. of time. Exactly. Utilize that plan uh, to preservation. win. Preservation. That's crazy, right? Like say, 
I should get an accomplishment for letting my teammate take all the damage and me getting zero. How did you get flamers zero? are not banned, they're just specifically nerfed for Solaris. They are quote unquote Solaris flamers. <laughs> Um, Boltons, they are very, uh, as you can imagine, there's a huge difference between, like, a shoulder pad that fits on a Piranha versus an Atlas. So, and some Boltons just make no sense or wouldn't fit on a particular mech. So, Boltons turned out to be, <clears throat> they're quite labor-intensive. I mean, they are very mech-specific, as you can easily see, just looking at the geometry and stuff. They're basically to be custom to every single mech. So they take a lot of work. They do take some time. And that means they behave in a way they're kind of like cockpit items in that you don't just buy like, you know, say uh, a shield thing and it just fits on like every single mech. Um, if you buy a shield for like the Atlas, for like the sh Atlas, the shield that goes in the back or whatever, um, then you can only have it on one Atlas at a time, like a cockpit item. And then, uh, you know, then they, they really become uh, chassis specific when you buy them. Like, you're going to buy, like, a particular thing for your Jenner and buy a particular thing for your Marauder. Like, they're just, they're very different. There really is no, like, oh, look, I bought the wings. Now they work on everything because, well, they have to be custom fit to every mech. Sure. And the to answer your question, no, the, the bolt-ons are not uh, hitboxes. Um, once you hit them, they fall off and there's no no damage being done to your mech or being done to the bolt on itself. It's yeah, they do not absorb any right. damage whatsoever. That's what I was looking for. Thank you, Russ. It's really too funny, though, that if you you can't put all the stuff that was on Chris's mech on, like, a little Irby, because then, you know, it would, you wouldn't even... Where would where the Irby be after that? Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be able to move in real life. It'd just be... The horns pretty much are as big as an Irby. All right, why don't you guys... Atlas. You guys go ahead and do another... Chris, stay in there. Do another 2v2. Let's go, uh, let's go Division 2. We just move did up a little two. bit. Oh, we you just did? did Div 2. Yeah. Do we need what to we do not, Div... Besides one, is there a Div we haven't done? No, we've three? done four. No, we've done Wait, we've, we've done four. four. We've done three. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did. That's right. We've, we've done did all of them three. but one. All yeah. right. Let's do the do big it. boys. Let's do it. Bring it on. Go to Division 1, guys. I like big mechs and I went, cannot lie. <laughs> I don't even have to. I already know. We need an Atlas holding an Irby as a club. Yes. Interesting. Well, that would be pretty cool. I think everybody's wanted that at some point. Except the Irby pilot. <laughs> Except for the Irby pilot. But he doesn't get a choice in the matter, I'm assuming. When an Atlas picks you up, whether you like it or not, that's where you are. Just like a Hasselaw. <laughs> Hasselaw <laughs> girl. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, George. Or I say, ah, uh, uh, Duncan. <laughs> I'm not used to being uh, careful what I say. <laughs> <laughs> it is after dark. So, uh, needless to say, guys, uh, just expect Tuesday, and from there on now, for the foreseeable future, I'll be doing 2v2s. Now, the cool thing is, I will be doing 2v2s with Darren, but also be doing 2v2s with you guys. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, getting people in. Uh, and again, if you haven't tossed me a front invite, make sure to do so in game so we can make that process entirely smooth. And that is Sean Lang, S-E-A-N space L-A-N-G. Um, I'm gonna be teaming up with everybody under the sun. And we are going to Van Steiner here. It's gonna be interesting. That's for damn sure. Um, yeah, I can't wait guys. Um, again, this is coming out Tuesday. So Tuesday we have the Solaris 7 update. We have the Solaris 7 Hero Max coming out and the Fafnir. We'll be covering the Fafnir and the Solaris 7 Hero Max on our there, Monday did, preview stream. Did mm -hmm. you did you say the Fafnir? Well, I want to every time I say it, but no, I did say it correctly. Oh, okay. Um, and this is going to be... No, we won't make this the final match. We'll make this the next to final. So we're going to do two Division One matches. This is the first one. We'll do one more. Then after the second Division One match, we'll do the final giveaway of the night. And then we will bid you farewell until tomorrow at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. So um, one thing I would like to mention is uh, the Night Star I'm going to be dropping in is going to be the Trial Night Star. Cool.
weapons online. Yeah, again, we do have new trial mechs for Solera, so be sure Assistance to check them out. Nominal. Hello, when does the fans? Fafnir hit? This is Duncan Fisher. Tuesday. We are coming to you Tuesday. from the factory. The All right, one of the uh, original artists of the back in the Cyberlore. He, he loved the Fafnir. Team like Chris. Oh, yeah. one that, uh, it's always great that to see squad LB10s. Fight side by side. Then the arguing after the match is even better. Okay. My arena senses are tingling on this one. These mech warriors are so close to each other in the standings that it's impossible to call the winner early. Yeah, I, I put in all these little slams for Duncan when he talks about Montenegro. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna push right down this way. Uh, I'm gonna go up one level. Roger. Which way was that? That way. Can you see where I'm pointing? Over there. It's over there. Yes. No, not Follow there. Follow him. Not that way. Turn around. Everybody mute up. Phil's singing. Acquired. Left side there's someone. Got it. How many levels are actually uh, available to to walk on in the factory? Uh, three levels. Three, okay. Ground floor, second floor, third floor, where the uh, kitchenware and lingerie are. Three level <laughs> or three. I'm gonna go uh, up another level. I'll tell you right now, Annihilator in the factory is interesting. Yeah, that's a tight fit. Yeah, you don't have, you don't have yeah, the I got clear. contact. Back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hashtag Duncan Fisher lives in chat for your chance to win a Slayer Seven Hero Pack. What you got? What yeah, you go got? Bravo, Bravo. Here, the Annihilator's heavy guns. Target acquired. I'm with Annihilator's you. back in the tail end. Bravo too. Yep, yep. You know what I should do? I should probably... Right side. I don't want to mess up here. Both on me. Both on me. Let him come. Let him come. I don't have lines. Follow, follow, follow. Acquired. Alpha CT. While you're adding Bravo. friends in game, or so. feel free to They're win. They're focusing me. Hello, Stumpy! Feel free to friend invite Bombadil, Star Wolf, and Nutty Rat in game as well. Then I cross him. Target destroyed. Ah. Heat level critical. New target Yep, yep. Got you covered. I'm going to have to repeat the winning of the Solaris Oversight Committee for cheating by his own teamwork. Very soon, George. Well, first I'd have to have the game installed. Very soon, George. <laughs> and, then, and then I'd have to be able to look at the screen for more than five seconds without feeling nauseous. I know. <laughs> Did Nutty Rat just get that shot? That would be appropriate. Yeah. I, I might have shot him. I might have wubbed him right in the crotch. It might have. The wubs of love. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to get one more shot on you. Just one more. You got what you had coming, Nutty. All right, Chris, you ready to uh, to let me in there? Going ahead. All right, Phil, you want to give me an invite? Yeah, yeah, just one second. I'm, I'm waiting for the, the mech lab, man. All right, guys. No. Hashtag yes, mech cards. Oh, I'm just, I was just going to say, you know what I was thinking? For Sunday, because it'll be the last day I'll be around, I'm thinking uh, a prize that we could, we could uh, give, all, give away like you do here. Is I've got a whole bunch of extra sets of the uh, Solaris coasters. Oh that yeah, the Battle Mech game was offering. Sure, I would be happy to give you one of those for a, a lucky player. All right, well there you go, very Solaris themed. So that'll be uh, Sunday. Thank you, George. All right, Darren, we ready? Invite sent. Um. Do I want to mix it up? Well, you saw what I you see what I have. That's all I got ready. Let me, let me hold on. Oh, dude, uh -huh. no, I don't I don't know what you got yet. Okay. Is it? All right. We're in the queue. All right. Fifteen seconds to launch. Hope you guys have been having a good time. We will be doing the same thing tomorrow and Sunday. More matches, showing off different aspects of the game. Um, hopefully reaching some of our Euro friends. Having Phil ban Steiner. Yes. 
always. I have nothing against Steiner. I just, it's Steiner, you know. Like. Yeah. yeah. But right. I want to see all the bolt-ons. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yeah, you'll have to play Steiner when I give away the Solaris uh, coasters. Okay. We will do that. Ladies, the only time you have to play it. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. again, if you are new to the channel or if you've came here often and never quite done it, make sure to click that follow button. Thank you again for tuning in. Hopefully you're enjoying this Slayer 7 hype sneak peek. A lot of people are excited. I'm excited. It's going to be interesting. I think I'm going to have to do a lot of customization. So I would say over the weekend, prepare More mech like lab bills. time, guys. <laughs> right? Prepare like yeah, C-Bills. Yeah, C-Bills and mech lab. You're going to be spending a lot of time in the mech lab again. Rip all my C bills. Lots of gonna... adjustments for uh, no heats. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no. Oh, yeah. Because I'm heat not ready. Real. Yeah, the yeah, heat is add real. Armor mechs... and remove, Hello, everybody. You know, ammo, right? Welcome to the jungle. I'm my mechs kind of rely on bringing the, uh, you all cool the shots, fun so and games. I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble. Cafe. Yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> this could be one of the most exciting <laughs> matches in history. It could also be a four person gong show. The Solaris 7 out. buddy system. If your mech gets blown up, there's no clear indication of who's going to win. This is gonna be a tight fight. There Let's you go, RJ. I don't know if you're watching, but look at the back of Star Wars mech. Here, I'll sit down for a second. All right, I'm with you, dude. Get ready for the gun. Let's go. Show. They're going left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or right. Yeah, yeah. I gotta say, that I, I like the way they did the uh, sound. It sounds really good. Target applied. I'm really glad you could turn it off. <laughs> Freaking weapon groups. Did you not get that ahead of yeah. time? No. Oh, you did that before, dude. Killing me, small. Actually, bravo, bravo. Watch your left, watch your left. I'm gonna come through. Watch your left. Yeah, yeah, don't go through. Don't go through. Right arm destroyed. Bravo. New target acquired. Heat level critical. New target acquired. Heat level critical. How you doing? How you doing? They're focusing me. Critical. Ordnance magnet, dude. All right, you ready? Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Drop a center port. Wave goodbye to that arm. Nice. It warms my heart to see that victor in such a high place of nobility again. Yeah, it is. It's been a while. It's back, King's back, baby. That is how teamwork proves uh, itself as the superior strategy. That, and I'm pretty sure one of the winners is Fantastic totally carrying detail the other one. Yeah, it's a lot of detail. I haven't really been able to look because <laughs> they're shooting at well, me. Of course you, but, you can, know. but I can. <laughs> the best thing. <laughs> Duncan Fisher is back. Oh. Darren, was that payback for all the dev It was payback, that man. This thing? So big time payback. She does about a two and a half minute match. I think maybe uh, as people go along, they might you know, they might get a little bit longer to kind of fill each other out a bit, but yeah, in general, if you think about some between, let's call it two to three minutes for the match, um, if you hit the 60 second queue within, you know, the last 10 seconds, you know, it's quick turnarounds. You could be, you know, pumping out matches like every three, four minutes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to do the giveaway right now. This is for a Solaris 7 Hero pack coming out Tuesday. Seven different hero mechs, all unique and new. So enter hashtag Duncan Fisher lives in chat. I'm gonna give you about 30 more seconds. And man, he does. It just, it t it literally, George, it like takes me back, you know, 10, 20 years here in uh, Duncan Fisher again. It's awesome. Well, if it makes you feel young, it, I'm, I'm it makes me feel it. young, George. <laughs> Better than me, just frying you with drinks. <laughs> no, we can have both, can't we? Yeah, <laughs> as long as you're paying. <laughs> we want it all. All right, guys, here we go. The winner of the Slayer 7 Hero Pack is... 
Demento Graven, Demento Graven, are you out there? Congratulations, you win a Slayer 7 hero pack. You got 60 seconds to claim your prize, sir. Oh, not Demento. Remember Dr. Demento? There he is. Yay. <laughs> okay, one second. You guys go ahead and randomly talk about Slayer 7 while I uh, take care of Mr. Demento here. So I think it's only appropriate. Too. Nutty, <laughs> Starwolf, obviously you're our guest here. But How I'm was not your, your experience? Guest? Well, I mean, as far as like playing, what what are your thoughts so far? They're all good. The biggest change that you know, for one, being able to go, through, I'm gonna have to go through and change a lot of the mechs that I would use for this, just because they're it's not designed for the one v one, nor are they designed for not having consumables. So there's gonna be a lot of adjustments people are gonna have to make in order to do well in these. I think. I. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna, map the maps themselves are gorgeous. <laughs> I, I think it's going to bring a really interesting and, and great dynamic to the game. Um, when, when you consider the fact that um, you know, I, I, I I'm kind of getting into to, to, to MRBC this season, and a lot of things that we do in practice is we do a lot of one v ones for for personal skill development. So so this kind of incentivizes it and makes it a little bit more apparent, a little more fun, a little more engaging. Um, I, I think it's gonna the one v ones and two v twos. I think are gonna are gonna bring a lot of excitement to the game, and I, I, you know, like Sarwell said, we kind of we kind of went into this not realizing oh we're gonna have to rebuild a good chunk of our mechs, <laughs> but uh, but no, it's 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 really good. Yeah, one thing I noticed too is I think certain maps are going to cater towards brawling, but on that uh, on that last map i honestly could see a long range engagement happening if if you could do it right or at least being able to put so much damage down um i think it's just about positioning and then of course what weapons you bring um yeah this is gonna be interesting especially watching the top players out there and top groups because uh we've seen a lot of 1v1s already we've got the masters challenge we uh you know there, there's been a few tournaments out there as well 2v2s is, I think, going to be very competitive. Um, and of course, because we have different divisions, it's going to be interesting to see if someone's going to try to like be number one or top, you know, 10 or whatever in all the divisions every single, you know, season. I don't know. That it's going to be interesting. Yeah, there's a leaderboard for, as you know, for all, which is like, uh, you know, like an average across like all the divisions. So someone could be like the grand champion. Russ, do you think you're going to have to put any restrictions on who can be that? Because you do have a lot of nearly pro players, don't you? No, sir. Uh, you know, this is a free market up there, and Solaris, anyone who has the game can play, and if they can be the champion, then uh, there's, there's nothing I can do about restricting that, really, you know? Just oh, means we cool. need to get good, as yeah, they say. Um, I'll say a little bit about the Boltons. Um, just get that Atlas off the screen. That thing is hideous, Chris. <laughs> Ugh. Um, there are some beauty. really cool looks you can put together, though. Chris, his taste, not That so not good, being one of them. <laughs> but some other guys are just like... I mean, I saw the Centurion hat on the Atlas or something. It was really cool. But one thing that people will be disappointed with is that there's a lot of mechs that don't have Bolton support. And that's disappointing to me, too. Like, I wanted to have a lot more for launch but as the system evolved it, it, like you say early on it wasn't necessarily clear to us that um just how custom they had to be which in hindsight it should have been more clear but you know it was, it was more work than maybe we initially thought as far as how much customizing you had to do to a bolt-on to get it to fit on every chassis so but we did hire like there's two brand new artists that do nothing now but um create bolt hunts so that's all been happening in the last couple of months uh hiring a couple of specific artists for this they're literally just doing it full time now so the hope is that i mean every patch kind of like decals it didn't take too too long before there was a quite a pile of, of decals so we're, it'll be similar i'm telling you i, I just as a, an observer here i'm looking at this going you know i think it's the thing that it's going to take the longest for people to get sick of is the ability to walk around your mechs that's just too awesome yeah, it, it is. It is. Uh, it's a very cool feature. Uh, I like it for you know. We all like to look at our own mechs from behind and and you know, 
uh, see our, our handiwork, um, whether that be patterns or whatever. But now, like I said, decals are way easier to apply uh, because of the rotating cam. And, uh, and then first person, you just can get a much better view of every aspect of these beautiful models. I mean, that's one of the strongest, uh, you know, things about this game, obviously, is Alex's amazing work um, and these mechs. So it's nice to be able to look at them better. Well, um, I like the sense of perspective it gives you, though, because now it's suddenly, oh, these are yep. gigantic looking, you know, yep. robots. It's awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. Demento Graven, congratulations again on your win as well as a previous winner. Um, we will be doing more giveaways all weekend, guys. We'll be here again tomorrow. That's Saturday at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. UTC. And same again on Sunday and same on Monday. Tomorrow and uh, Sunday we'll be talking more about and displaying or demonstrating more Solaris. Uh, we'll be talking about different aspects of it and doing more matches so you guys can see all the maps and how terrible we are at uh, playing other than Phil. Um, and then Monday we'll be previewing the mechs, the Solaris 7 Hero mechs, as well as the Fafnir. I can't wait to get into the Fafnir and, uh, you know, on live and uh, get it into Solaris as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. We appreciate all of you being here. Um, like I said, happy Friday, happy weekend. Russ, do you have anything you want to say before we go? No, look for the stream tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. And Chris, we did see a lot of discussion in chat as we anticipated regarding the divisions. Um, I want to reiterate, and Chris, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, the division placement is going to be very closely monitored and adjusted as needed, you know, right? Not as needed. Uh, um, so... That's why you're here. Can... So because... Uh, um, Everyone's ELO is going to be different for every division, and we recognize that uh, you know some uh, players have their favorite mechs, and they'll follow their mechs to whatever division that they are pretty much uh, residing in. So we don't want to get into a situation where, you know, if we were to change the division of the mech uh, in the middle of the season, that would completely mess with the player's ELO. So as a result, uh, um, the divisions are going to basically be locked for the duration of the Slayer season. But uh, the Solaris seasons will only be three months long each, and basically, as the seasons uh, go on, we will be observing, you know, the performance of all the mechs and how they are uh, pretty much stacked up in the season. And as the new seasons uh, come, if we feel like we need to make adjustments uh, to where the mechs are placed in their divisions, uh, we will in between the div the seasons. That's what I meant. Yeah, I knew it was each season. I'm just saying they will be adjusted. It's not like it's here. It yeah, is for not yeah. not at the drop of a hat, though. It will yeah, yeah, only of be on those breaks between seasons. Absolutely. So hope you guys enjoyed it. We will be back. Thank you again to Star Wolf and Nutty Rat, Chris Lowry, um, George Duncan Fisher Ledoux, of course, and Russ Bullock for joining us. Um, Phil, you have a wonderful night. Anything you want to say, Phil, before we're out of here? just want to say again uh thanks for tuning in guys hey if you are new make sure to click that follow button some quick uh shout outs again to all the new follows resubs i know we had a few new subs thank you again gentlemen and ladies out there um and yeah we'll be back tomorrow afternoon uh, to showcase a little bit more solaris 7 and the build coming your way tuesday um obviously tuesday uh monday we've got the um preview stream as darren said and of course tuesday patch day lots of stuff to be kicking off so, uh, yeah, just want to say good luck to everyone on Tuesday. I don't see you now until then. And uh, I'm sure I'll see you on the battlefield for some 2v2 action in particular. I'll be there. Don't miss out. Also, uh, Nutty, Star Wolf, which one of you, are you both continuing to stream? When are you going to stop? Who? Do, where do we send these people? I'm streaming um, until about 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, go yeah, go ahead and give it to Nutty. I'm gonna, I need to take a break, get some stuff done, but I'll be back later on. All right, guys, we are raiding Nutty Rat's channel. Be sure to go over there and follow him. Following's free, and it's a good way to thank him for participating today. Let's go raid Nutty Rat's stream right now. Thank you again, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Until next time, MechWarriors.